going to be looking at VU, a procedural landscape tool that generates landscapes that are usable in game engines and 3D applications like Blender. I know some of you are not old enough to remember VU, but it was one of the first procedural tools before Gaia, before most of the popular landscape tools that you know. Uh, it was really powerful and it was used with a lot of applications, especially Cinema 4D. Now, it was bought by a software company called Bentley System, an infrastructure engineering company. Now, if you're wondering why a company like this would buy Vu, it's because they use it in presentations as well. So when you download this, you know you're getting something that is used by professionals as well. Like I said, it has been around for quite some time and it's quite powerful. It exports to different formats. It can be used for game engines, architecture visualization, and any other use cases for 3D. If you use it in conjunction with their plant catalog or their plant factory, which is their procedural plant generation tool similar to speed tree you can create realistic ecosystems that look detailed up close and even from a great distance all of these are free on their website but today we're just going to be looking at vu okay so when you open up vu this is what you get you can start from an empty canvas a simple landscape environment map macro where you're creating plants and uh, yes or studio render i'm just going to start with an empty canvas and uh, so we can talk about the interface and how you can use this already you can see that this is split in four views the active camera side view top view front but you can change any of these to whatever you want for example you can see that i don't have a perspective view so what i can do is go up here click on this icon and i'll find the different views that are available I can change to perspective view so that I can navigate through my view. You can hold down alt to look left, right, top, down, or you can hold down the right mouse button to pan. If you have an object selected, say the camera here, you can hit F to zoom in on it. And if it's selected, you can see you get these icons here that give you the move gizmo and the rotation gizmo. We want to work on a landscape, so let's add a landscape. I'm going to zoom out here by holding down alt and then right mouse drag and on the right side you see we have all the tools available and you also have an outliner here in our outliner we have the ground the main camera and the sunlight you also have a render preview here and if you want to render out your scene you can also hit this render icon and it will render your scene let's start by creating a landscape so i'm going to click on this mountain icon and that will give me a landscape you can see now the, the camera is inside the landscape so i'm just going to select it from my outliner and just push it out bring this up i'll also click on this icon to rotate it just so that is pointing into the scene instead of using a ground like this i'm going to use an ocean so i'm going to click on this ocean icon and that should give me an ocean i can come to the ground Hit delete to remove that so that I only remain with the ocean or C. I'll select that and just pull that up. I'm also going to select the terrain. Click on the scale icon or gizmo and just drag that up so that my terrain is really tall. And I'm going to just rotate the camera again. And you can also see the different settings you have for your camera. For example, let me change my focal length to maybe a 15 millimeter so that I see uh, the entire scene. You can turn on blur if you want, exposure and other things. Let's select our terrain. And you can see now we have a material setting, but I want a different material than what I'm looking at here. I'm just going to right click here and load a new material. And uh, let's load in this. This will replace the old material. And if you want to edit that, you can also right click, edit, and let's take a look at the different settings. So uh, if you go into the color, you can see the different settings we have. If you want, you can mix the materials by changing from a simple material to a mixed material. Now I can right click, load a material, and choose what material I want to load. Let's see, let's get maybe uh, this here. And to mix this, just go into the influence of the environment and turn on the distribution of materials depending on local scope or altitude. Yeah, so you can blend this depending on the different settings you have. Let's do a quick render preview here to see what we have. You can see our snow and a blend of our materials. If you want to edit the terrain itself, you can double click it and you will enter this terrain editor. You can change the type of terrain. For So here we have something like a slope, you can use a mountain, 
each time you click on this it gives you a different type of mountain you can use a different template here you can turn this into uh, terraces like that from there you also have the side panel that gives you more settings like as a sculpt tool that lets you sculpt let me just reduce the radius increase my flow and you can see i can paint onto uh, this you can turn on erosion effects like glaciation diffusive alluvium i'm also going to keep eroding these so that i make it more smooth you can right click and increase the iterations uh, this will make the effect you add more stronger you can see now how it has made things more softer you can add effects like pebbles peaks terraces terraces just like that I'm just going to increase this a bit or stairs and just look at how our preview is starting to change it's getting more and more detailed just like that so so you can see that this is a great tool for layering different details so i can click ok and you can see how this looks yeah i think i like what i have now what i can do is select my mountain go to file export object and choose what i want to export i want to export as fbx and click export i can now open up blender go under file import fbx so this is under vo objects terrain so i'll go eon software vo objects terrain now i have my terrain i'll scale it down you can see it comes with all the textures and maybe i can just make the this more contrasted so i'll use rgb curves to make this bit more contrast so that i can see the details more that's not all vu can do you, you can see up here we still have a lot of other things like you have the option to add a bunch of trees so if you right click this you can access that and you can see a bunch of trees it also has a scatter system if you go up here you see this brush tool and if you click on it it gives you the option to add objects you want to scatter for example if i want to add uh, some trees i can click on add plant or add items and just select uh, maybe a tree let's just select a something simple like this confirm your selection it will be added to your ecosystem population uh, if you want to add maybe uh, some grass there is grasses flowers aquatic uh, just a bunch of things uh, that you can that you can import in and scatter directly onto your scene so after i'm done there i can just come in here and paint over over the terrain and you can see now a bunch of trees have been added now the other thing i want to export is my c so i can select it but because it's an infinite object you can't export it at once so if you try to do that and export object you will get an error if you click ok it will create an export zone so that you can export just the area within the export zone so i'm just going to scale this up so that it covers a larger space then select my c go under file export object and now you can see i can bring it in here yes bring it slightly up reduce my strength you can add as much detail as you want but that's how this works thanks for watching if you want to get this all links are in the description